whenever we are uh, creating the journal, generally we will go for specify the journal batch and uh, journal here. So let's say expense journal batch and expense journal one. And this is US primary ledger. And let's say this comes under the category of payables here, or payables or payroll, whatever. Let's say payments category. And we got account combination here. So now in account uh, segment, I would like to have this value. Let's say these all values are there and we don't have the new value here, but client wants to add this. How we can go for add the value to this particular segment, any segment, not only for account, either it can be intercompany or it can be uh, for cost center or it can be for product for any of this. Okay. So uh, for this account segment, we have to identify what is the value set. What is the value set we have to identify here? That once we identify the value set, then we can easily go for add the value for that. How we can do that? This is our chart of accounting structure. We do not have idea what exactly the name of the chart of accounting structure. Only the name which we know is right now the ledger. This ledger is nothing but a forces, nothing but your currency and calendar and uh, chart of accounting structure and compliance method, right? So we know the ledger. Let's go back to FSM environment. And once we are in FSM environment, then search for a task here. Chart of accounting structure. We don't know the name of COA, right? So first we have to go to the ledger, go to the task. We know only ledger name. Go to primary ledger here. Press enter key. And this is our uh, chart of accounts. This is our chart of accounts. So once you know the chart of accounting structure name, that is structure instance. Let's go back to chart of accounting structure and search for our uh, accounting key flux field. It is in deployment status is in correct only, successful only. We know the structure instance name. Search for the structure instance name. Here you will come to know the name of the chart of accounting structure. Copy this. Go to structures. Search with our chart of accounting structure. This and go to edit. There will be a six segments. We have six segments. Now we are working for account. I want to know which value set is for account. Here you will come to know it's a corporate account. Fine. Once we are clear with the value set name, any segment, it's not only account, it can be line of business or it can be department or it can be business unit, whatever. Once we are clear with value set name, go to value set values. Search for the value set name here. Click manage values button. We have existing and go for add new value here. Yes. So I'm going to add this value. And this comes under expense. Select account type. Whenever we are entering new values, we have to be very careful this. It is expense. I'm specifying reconciliation. Yes, we can go for reconcile. Financial category, it comes under payables, right? Payments. And let's say keep it under purchasing here. Accounts payable. Save. 
once we add the values to the value set, we don't need to go for again compilation of our uh, chart of account. Values can be added anytime for this value set directly will go for test. Now this user is a implementation user as well as a transactional user. Means this user has got both. Generally, when we are working in the projects, we need a permission for implementation setups as well as for testing transactional purpose. So that's why we'll keep like this. Uh, generally, we don't give the permission to the employees to do this FSM access, right? Okay. Expense batch here. Here account, I uh, can go for specify this account code number has provided this, right? This, I can choose the value. This is how we can go for uh, specify the new values in our uh, value set. Let's say we are having some expense for that we are going to pay the cash. That's a journal meaning here. We can find it here and go for save this transaction and then go for post it. So this is how we will go for uh, configure the new values in the segment. This is the process. For example, if we are not clear value set name or chart of accounting structure, if we are just know the name of the ledger, then we can configure like this. It's also one of the important question in the interest, how to add the value. So we have to explain like this. Whenever we say that we have to, we have to explain that uh, when we are working with the journals, we'll come to know the name of the primary ledger. Once we know the ledger, we'll go to FSM environment. There we'll search with the task called primary ledger. We'll find out what is chart of accounting structure instance. Once we know the name of the instance, then we'll go back to chart of accounting structure search for accounting key flux field and go to the structure instance where we'll search for the structure instance and we'll find out what is the structure name. Once we are clear with the structure name, search with the structure and go back to account segment or whatever segment is required and find out what is the value set name. Once we are clear with the value set name, then we will go back to chart of accounting value set values and search for the value set and go for add this values that's how we are going to perform. So this is how we have to explain in a functional words. Whenever we say that, oh, when we are explaining, we have to use like task, FSM environment, accounting key flux field, search for the chart of accounting structure instance. And then these words are very important oh, for functional consultant expressly. And the technical consultants explaining, it's not that much uh, mandatory to speak about the words here but when it comes for the functional this is very very important this here okay thank you